welcome to another video on Walk on the Wild Side and I'm here in Blackpool. In this video I'm going to be taking you inside Tram Town. I've been there before, Tram Town here in Blackpool. It's where they keep all the old trams, the heritage trams here. Now I have been in there before and I've shown you around the depot there. We're going to be taking a look inside there today. They've got a presentation on and they're going to be announcing what they're going to be doing, their plans for the future at Tram Town. And I think it's going to be pretty big. There's going to be quite a few important people there, council people, people from the TV, other YouTubers, including me. Anyway, let's head into Tram Town now and see what it's all about, shall we? <laughs> We're here at Tram Town. Look at all these people, wow. All those different talents around us today. Some YouTubers here as well. Jane over there from Visit Foul Coast. And just behind me I've got uh, Darren here. All of you have all contributed to this amazing journey. And obviously the board, some of the board of Blackpool Transport is right through now. Amazing managing director and some of our Tram Town team. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to uh, have a little walk round and show you some of the work that we've done so far. Uh, we're going to see some of the phases, we're going to talk about phases today. We're going to talk about phase one and phase four in particular. And we're going to show you what that actually looks like, so you can start to picture it. And then we're going to work our way around the building. Um, we'll see some of the public already, because this is actually open to the public. We opened in September 2021, uh, and in that time we've had um, over uh, five, six thousand people come and visit us and some of them are in today enjoying the attraction. Um, and what we'll then do is go into a tram, a boat tram, and we're going to watch a video. And um, we're going to watch a video of what the future looks like. And the future here is going to be amazing. We're all going to be part of it, and we're all going to benefit it. Not just ourselves here, but the amazing people on that side of the fence, in, in the Bloomfield area and Blackpool itself and also the wider region of, of Lancashire and the northwest of England. So what starts today is a really positive revolution. It started in September 21, but today we really add the bones and to something really special. Uh, Brian, I don't know if you wanted to add anything to, to that. There's an awful lot to add. I think you've pretty well summed it up. Uh, everything we do is about people, and that is the key factor that really matters in all of this. We've done this with our local community, it's all been done by volunteers, and as we tell you all about it as we go around today, I think the most important thing that I can say is that we've achieved uh, the uh, application of our planning permission last week, we've put that in, uh, we've funded everything from public donations, from the tours that we do around the depot, and from selling merchandise. And so far, we've cost Blackpool Transport and the Council nothing. Everything we've done, we've paid for ourselves. Our architect has completed our plans up to our IBA Stage 3, and we've got our plans up to our IBA Stage 4 for Phase 1, which we'll hear more about later. And to think that we've achieved that at zero cost, effectively, to this entire project, speaks for itself. We are going to be good value for money all the way through this. And again, it's all because we've got the right people. And having you here today endorses all of that, because again, your support means a very great deal to us and shows that we've got this message right. So come and enjoy this tour, come and have a look round. Uh, we'll be very pleased to show you what we've been up to behind the scenes. Well, well, thanks so if you want to follow us, um, there'll be some of us will be... going to go on a bit of a tour, folks. Just wave your hands. Brilliant. Uh, so here we go folks, we're going to be finding out about the future of Tram Town and all the plans that Paul was just talking about there. Not really used to this sort of thing, you know, being invited to these sort of events, but uh, no way, we've got someone playing the keyboard. <laughs>
live music there, folks. To add to the atmosphere, we're here at Tramp Town. And we're going to be going into the shed now. We're underneath the covers now here. We're getting a look at these old trams. Look at these. The old balloon tram there. So much history here at Tram Town in Blackpool. So when we talk about phase one, this is the area that we're talking about. And um, we're going to move all the electronics equipment, we're going to all the engineering equipment and repurpose it and put it into this phase. Um, and that gives us a huge potential because what we can start to do is create something that is 21st century fit to look after vehicles that were built in the 1880s and 1920s and 1930s. And it also means we can put all the things that we need to in all the right order to increase productivity, which means hopefully we'll start to see even more trams being pre uh, repaired, maintained in a, in a better way, uh, and, and new illuminated trams as well. So this isn't just a case of moving things around to save them, it's actually repurposing them to give us more efficiency and be able to deliver more. So it, this is a, the area that we've talked about as a phase one part of the scheme, which you're going to see shortly in the video. And this is going to be obviously this section, and it pushes two tram lanes along that way as well, which we're going to go and have a look at now. Um, the next part of the tour where we're heading towards is the phase four area. Um, so we're going to move from phase one to phase four. Phase two is the, the overall roof. Uh, and um, uh, phase three That's is the, the doors for the, for the building. So we're going to head, go from phase one to phase four in one go, and then we're going to head to, to the video. Brian, is there anything else you wanted to add to that? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you've got it spot on. Yeah, did you get that on camera? <laughs> and now we move on to another phase. Look at that there. There's a, there's a tram there, a tram tank there, look at that, wow. Yeah, I've got a bench of me behind me and uh, the last time that I was in here was when we did the uh, the live stream, the ghost, the ghost tour live stream here at Trent Town. Look at all these old trams, isn't it amazing? It's an amazing tour if you want to come on it. Uh, I'll put a link to the website in the description of the video if you want to visit Tram Town and support them and all the work they do here in keeping these trams going, these old classic Blackpool trams. Like the balloon tram there. The old balloon I love the old balloon trams, you know that, that one there with the cream and green. Look at this one here, it's got the Lindeen on it there. Look, the Lindeen Hotel, a very popular hotel here in Blackpool. So we're making our way now. We're right at the back of the uh, the sheds now. There's a rocket tram there, look. Who remembers the rocket tram? Look at that. Wow, I wonder if that'll ever come out again. Right, so we're just making my way down the side of the rocket tram. We're heading to this next phase here. Um, Well, this is where we have the shop here, folks. You can always buy a, a souvenir from Tram Town. This is where you get your uh, your Tram Town goodies, your fridge magnets and your your caps and your your mugs and pictures. This is the new shop here at Tram Town, folks. And our volunteers have built this little shop where we sell our merchandise. And it's been built out of all the pallets that we receive our goods on. So we've recycled everything. It's cost us nothing apart from some time and some effort. Is all this is um, And yeah. we're very, very proud of what they've achieved. So um, I'll speak a bit louder. So very soon um, we'll be relocating this shop, which opened today. Because we used to be over that side. Um, but we're getting ready for the engineering works and so forth, the building works about to start this summer um, so we've moved the shop over here uh, some work's already been started uh, that's all been painted some panels have been replaced already 
we'll get clearance to move over to this side um, in the next couple of weeks properly. And what we'll do is um, clean it all up, uh, paint this far side, put the shop in, um, and this is our first sort of attempt to be the change that we want to see. And we're going to go and watch an amazing video. We're going to watch a video, folks. And there's a rocket tram there, folks, when it was out on the tram tracks. <laughs> oh, check this out. We're going to be getting on the Charlie Caroli tram here, look. Can we all fit on there? <laughs> this is the open boat tram, named after the famous... Yeah, that's right. Entertain it. <laughs> I've just been given this uh, fridge magnet of the tram that we're on here, the Charlie Caroli. And we've been told to imagine that we're going down the promenade on a nice sunny warm day because it's anything but that today. <laughs> we're going to be watching a movie on this uh, screen over here, a presentation, there you go. That's what we're watching right now on the, on the big screen here. As the music plays as well. So we're watching this presentation here, folks. All about Tram Town. We're watching loads of slides, photographs. It's going through all the, the history there and what the plans are for the future as well. So we're currently watching this presentation on the projection on the big screen here at Tram Town, all about the future of this place. And I have to say, it looks absolutely amazing. You'll be blown away when you see this, what the plans are for the future. It's absolutely amazing. Only Blackpool can do this. Thanks for joining us on this journey. It's going to be exciting. He just mentioned tea and cakes then. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Right, okay, so that's the uh, presentation all over with. And now, I think we're on the way to see if we can see Balloon 710. That's the Alan Bradley tram. I don't think we saw it earlier. And uh, we're just going to head back round to the back of the tram shed now. And... Uh, I believe that the tram is somewhere down here. Uh, this is the tram that was up at the Fleetwood Boneyard. It was rotten away. A very famous tram that was used in Coronation Street and it ran over Alan Bradley in that famous Coronation Street episode, which was watched by millions of viewers back in, was it 19? I can't remember what it was, 1989 or something. Let's see if we can see it, shall we? Look at all these drums, folks. It's amazing, isn't it? Look at this one here, ahead of us, bins. Shop at bins. Who remembers bins here in Blackpool? Massive department store. I think it's where the Hounds Hill is now. And I believe we're making our way. Oh, I think we might have it, folks. Is this it? Is this the Alan Bradley tram? Oh, look at this. This is it, folks. Balloon 710. This is the Alan Bradley tram. Yeah, there you go. I think it needs a little bit of TLC. What do you think, folks? This is the tram that killed Alan Bradley. And now look at it. Wow. So there you go, folks. Here's a look at the other side here. Balloon 710. Looks very different to what it did when it was in the show because it was painted in the... The famous Blackpool Transport Green and Cream Library there. So this is how Balloon 710 looks today. And there's going to be a lot of work to restore this tram, but I'm sure that they can do it. The team will do it right here at Tram Town over the next couple of years. Okay now, so the presentation has all been finished now. We've had our 
tea, coffee and cakes. And now I'm going to let Paul Galley give us a little quick overview of what's happening here at Tramtown over the next four years. And he'll also be talking about the Alan Bradley Tram 710 and it coming back here to Tramtown from the Boneyard in Fleetwood. OK, so this is Paul here and he's going to just give us a little snippet about what's been, what, what the planning here at Tramtown and, uh, and also the, the coming back of Balloon 710, the famous Blackpool tram that killed Alan Bradley in Coronation Street. Thanks, Stephen. Well, this is really because of your viewers, actually, about the Coronation Street tram. But it, before I talk about that, um, today we've launched the vision of Tram Town. So a lot of the, your viewers will have seen uh, what we've got already, which is this amazing site with all the oldest of Blackpool's heritage trams in there. But what we've been showcasing today is what the future is going to look like. And that's going to be broken down to four phases. Uh, the new engineering works, which means that the trams can be repaired, new illuminated trams can be built, but crucially a new exhibition area and that will have cafe, conference facilities and, and crucially that will then allow us to create a sustainable income. So we've launched the vision today. Um, what we've also got, which because of the help of your viewers Stephen, because I know it was your viewers, because the moment we did your brilliant YouTube video, what then happened was within 24 hours all the money was raised to allow us to save this tram and that is Coronation uh, Street Tram 710. Yeah. And without your viewers, we couldn't have relocated it here and it would have been uh, facing a very, very uncertain future. So what we'll be doing with the tram uh, over the next 12 months is uh, cosmetically restoring it, so it'll be going back to green and cream. And the volunteers here will be doing that. Um, and then we're going to create uh, a bit of a, uh, an exhibition where we allow view, uh, any of the viewers, any of the uh, visitors to Tram Town to reenact themselves as uh, Alan Bradley in that famous the scene, but only that part of the scene, not none of his other bad behaviour. Don't want them reenacting that. That sounds like a lot of fun, that does actually. Brilliant, okay. absolutely. Okay. Thanks, for that. Thanks for that, Paul. Okay, folks, as a quick bonus to this video, I'm going to be taking a little look inside this famous tram here, the Great Western Train Tram. Let's take a look inside, shall we? I've never been in before. Okay, check this out. I'm about to go inside the Great Western Tram. I've never been in here before, you know. I can't believe it, I've never actually been inside this tram before. <laughs> it's absolutely you... gloriously warm as well. <laughs> oh, look at this, folks, I'm getting inside the tram for the first time, the Great Western Train Tram, look at this. Wow, oh, wow, that is so warm. How come it's, a... well, how is the heating? Is it just like, um... it must be electric, mustn't it? Look at this, the driver cab's there. I don't know if you can get through, how do you get through? Oh, can we can get through? Look, look at this. Wow, I wasn't sure if we could get through. Oh, look at this, folks. We're right in the guts of the the Great Western train tram now. Look at this. Wowzers. It feels like being on a real train. Wow, this is amazing, folks. Look at this. Wow. Listen to that noise as well. Look at this. This is how it looks to the driver of this famous illuminated tram here in Blackpool. Isn't it amazing? Wow, that is incredible, that, folks. So there you go, that was a look inside Tram Town here in Blackpool and their plans for the next four to five years. Isn't it absolutely amazing? I really hope that they can get all that work done in the next five years or so because it's going to be one of the biggest attractions here in Blackpool. It's going to be absolutely amazing and if you want to visit Tram Town I will put links in the description to where you can book on a tour, come on a tour. I think they do tours on Saturdays and Mondays at the moment. Ride on the old heritage trams, it's very important for Blackpool to keep these trams going and to keep them all looked after and to restore some of those old trams, especially the the Alan Bradley tram as well. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.